Hi there everybody, it's Jo Rose with JoRose.com and continuing on with the numerology for the year 2018. First of all, let's understand that 2018 is an 11-2 year and how do we get to that? By adding together 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 8 which equals 11. In numerology we rarely take down to a single digit a replicate double digit for example, 11 consists of a 1 and a 1. So we leave it marked as 11 slash 2. So this year is a year of connection, relationships, intuition, insight, harmony, cooperation, support, patience, observation. They spring to mind at the moment. But today's video is all about the personal year 9. So for example, somebody with a birthday of 16th of September would be in a personal year nine. How did I get to that? One plus six is seven, plus nine from September, plus 11 will equal 27, nine. Two plus seven is nine. So I'm referring to the personal year nine. And what is the personal year nine about? The personal year nine is all about completion, endings, transformation, release and letting go. So if you find yourself holding on to something, it's not yours to have and it's time to let go. And what I mean is just let go, just release it, put it out there. If we're holding on to something so tightly, it isn't ours to have. And the nine is a good clearing out year to release this energy. So this year, what can you let go of? Subscriptions, memberships, groups, friendships, things that are not serving you or your business or your well-being. What diet fads are you following that may be not serving you? Um, what, what, whatever you're doing that's not serving you or you have completed on. So don't believe that everything um, has come to an end for a, a reason of holding you back. It's just that it's done its time and it's time to move on. The nine energy is all about transformation. And that is when we think of, you know, the, um, the caterpillar going through the cocoon stage and coming out transformed as the butterfly. And that's really what the nine is. If you're in a nine personal year, you've gone through one to nine and you're coming to the ending of that epic epi cycle. Um, it's, it's time for a life reset. And I have a video that I'd, I will link below, which is numerology and the apple tree. And it takes you through the stages of the apple tree. And just when the apple tree comes to a nine is more when the leaves and everything dies back in winter so that it can re-evaluate, uh, re-regroup, ready for the spring, the one energy. And that's exactly what the nine is. The nine is allowing you to release. So ask yourself, what's holding you back? And what do you need to let go of? Now, the nine energy doesn't always have you go, well, I feel like I'm ready to let go. Sometimes the nine energy will just force you to let go because somewhere along the line, you have been asking the universe for direction in something that you're doing. And it may be that your job has been holding you back but it's a comfortable fit and you've decided not to go any further. Because it's comfortable, not because your heart's not yearning, but because it's comfortable and it's probably too traumatic to change or your family's not backing you, um, the money, there can be a whole bunch of reasons. I want to say with the nine personal energy, it's time to release, it's time to let go. The nine is also about compassion and forgiveness. And when we think about the 11-2 energy, that again is all about compassion. And the forgiveness needs to be done. So work through family issues. What family issues do you have that need working through? Have you had an argument that perhaps if you look at it now with a more mature mind or further forward, you realize that perhaps it's time to reconnect and sort through these issues. Understand that everybody is where they are at that time and they are the best they can possibly be in that moment. Now many of us that are awakening and I am referring to 
um, coming to a point where we feel that the system is not serving us, not everybody is at that point. Not everybody is becoming more spiritually aware that the answers lie within. And this, along with the 11-2, is really asking you to look what lies, be, what lies within. Your intuition will be heightened this year, both because of the 9 and the 11-2. It's a time to be more understanding. Everybody has their own perspective and it might not always be yours. Be broad-minded and open and listen. They're at wherever they're at and they may have learned something that you don't already know. So again, receive everything today or this year as if the first time given. I remember being at a friend's house once and, and being the age I am, I've been cutting cucumber forever. But I watched her cut a cucumber and whereas I would have gone through and slice, 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 piled them up, chump, 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 turn them, chump, chump, chump. I watched my friend take the cucumber in her hand and chump, 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 chump down it and then slice it. And I thought, wow, you didn't have to stack it and do anything complicated or have it fall over. It worked perfectly and so much swifter. So what habits have you been holding on to that perhaps are slowing you down? What behaviours are you so rigid and tight on that are really stopping you floating and flying in your true direction and your true potential? As I said, the nine is all about clearing out. And we often don't want to clear out because we're coming from a fear of lack or or there will be nothing else. I was talking to a client the other day that if they were to sell their properties and start afresh, you know, how long would they, what, how long would they survive on just that money alone? And they worked out 11 point something years, but said to me, then what? And I says, what do you mean then what? You'll have had 11 point something years to use that money or, or find out who you are because you're not restricted or chained down to your bills, your um, um, mortgages, your whatever it is to do with a house, or you're at the time where your children are fleeing the nest, flying from the nest, and you might have that empty nest syndrome. Often this is a nine energy and it's not time necessarily that everything falls apart, but you do need to clear the way and declutter ready for this new beginning. The nine is all about humanity. Where can you serve humanity, the environment, the planet? Earth is calling out for us to stop taking and start giving. And the nine is very much Mother Teresa energy. The nine is a selfless number. The nine needs to be serving somewhere. And it may be challenging if you're in a nine year because your relationship, bearing in mind it's a two year, may feel a little bit like this because while you probably could still be strong in your relationship, and not everybody is because nine is a time to let go, it could also mean that you're serving everybody else and not necessarily spending time on your relationship. So bear this in mind, if your relationship is important to you, that you need to balance the two, serving the community and the family, no matter how wide it is, biological or just connected, remember those close at home. It's all about understanding and creating harmony. Um, what else do I want to say? As I've said about old patterns and behaviours. If you've been doing something for so long and you notice, whether it's cutting your vegetables, as I explained with the cucumber, or you're doing certain things in certain ways, ask yourself, is there a better way of doing this? Go research it. Google is endless with help and support. Look at your groups that you're involved with. Have you outgrown them? As a, spirit, a spiritual awakening being, I know over the last 9, 10, 11 years, as I have gone more internally to become more resourceful and connect further and deeper with my intuition, that there are people that have been in my life that are no longer there. It's not that I've closed the doors, it's just that we're moving in different directions. There may be a chance that they'll come back in, but it's not about holding on. The nine is not about holding on. So if people are moving away or you're moving away, just release and send everything off with love. 
I wanted to have a balloon for this prop because I just wanted to have it as a metaphor as it, as it floated off upwards, upwards, that that's really what you need to do. So if some things feel hard, just do some visualizations about releasing. Um, and as I said, it's a reboot for the next, uh, the next epicycle, the next nine years. Nine is a great, when we end a nine year, there is a sense of relief. There is a sense of lightness. There is a sense of left behind baggage that was no longer serving us. And that's what I want to wish for you is that you can become lighter and brighter in this year by releasing what no longer serves you. At all points, remember, it's your life. L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first every day and watch your world flow. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please like, subscribe and share to me on YouTube. Come join me on, on Soul Empowerment and connect with me and find out where I'm next speaking or running a workshop because I'd love to open you up and broaden your horizon because numerology really is about broadening your horizon. Everything is about energy, no matter what it is you're talking about energy. Clutter holds energy, emotions hold energy. When you let it all go, you'll feel free. You may find, just as a little after tip, you may find this year has a few too many tears. Know that they're cleansing your body, cleansing your emotions and refreshing you for the bigger, brighter world that you're about to enter. Take care. Thank you.